Property prices across the country are rising at a pretty rapid pace, and they have done for the last 15, 18 months or so. There's a couple of factors playing a part here, very low interest rates and the likelihood that interest rates will be on hold for some time, restrictions on how people can spend their money, and clearly just the desire for people to upgrade homes and move to regional parts of the country. If we look at what are the most expensive streets, really what it generally comes down to is the quality of the housing on that street. So you look at grand mansions uh, in inner city areas, and obviously the other big one is either views or proximity to water. So we look at you know, oceanside or harbourside or riverside properties tend to be some of the most expensive. Particularly in some of the regional areas of the country, we've seen a rising prevalence of some of those streets being some of the more expensive in the country. In terms of the cheaper streets, in capital cities, it's generally outer areas of the capital city market. And what's driving those prices to be cheaper is really that, and it's not necessarily that they haven't seen price growth in these areas, it's just that most other parts of a city have also been seeing prices increase. So as you get further away from the city centre, you generally do find that property prices do reduce. In regional parts of Australia, what makes uh, streets very affordable is basically how remote they are. And you find that areas further away from those larger regional centres tend to have much lower price points. In terms of the future from here, I think that the streets in the capital cities that are the most expensive will continue to be the most expensive in the country. Whilst regional properties are becoming more and more popular, I still think that people are going to continue to pay a premium to be in those capital city markets. But no doubt some of those regional markets will see some big lifts in those more expensive streets as well, as more and more people want to move to regional areas and really focus on that lifestyle in a post-COVID world.